Hello my dear children of class 11 science uh, today again I welcome all of you through this mode of teaching and that is we are following YouTube mode and we do continue uh, today with the chapter heat transfer so this is the chapter that we started already in the last class okay and this chapter is under unit number 8 okay now in today's class uh, we deal basically with one of the topic called conduction of heat in metal rod now children in the last class you learn there are basically three mode of transport transmission of heat that, that takes place in a body or from one place to another place or from one hot body to another body okay now this mode of transportation of heat are conduction convection and radiation and out of three mode of transmission of heat one of the process or uh, in which the heat transmission takes place without actual movement of the molecules or particles of a body and in which this heat transmission takes place okay when there is a difference in temperature in a body is called conduction okay now metal are a good conductor of heat and metals are also a good conductor of electricity okay now consider there is a metal rod so this is a metal rod so it's already drawn in the uh, in the page this is a metal rod and basically this metal rod which has drawn is what in shape cylindrical in shape having a cross sectional area this is what area cross sectional area cross sectional area now the rod which you have taken is usually a uniform rod okay uniform rod means like having same area cross section okay now in this rod we can transport the heat from one end to other end but how the heat can transfer from one end to other end by the process called conduction but in order to transfer the heat if we supply heat okay at one end of the uh, metal rod okay then after some time we know that the other end also become what hot okay and this process is simply called as what conduction now the same metal rod now if i heat the one end of a metal rod okay then what happen the heat simply flow from okay hot end means this hot end to the cold end by the process called conduction by the process called what conduction so as i already said that when one end of the metallic rod is heated then the heat simply flow from that hot end the hot end means that and where the temperature is higher to the cold end where the temperature is lower because in the process of conduction as you know that there must be a temperature difference so when there is a difference in temperature okay then then only the heat can flow from the body at higher temperature to the body at what lower temperature okay now in the process of conduction in the process of what this conduction each cross section of the rod because this rod have number of cross section so this is the total length of the rod but this uh, cross rod has number of what cross section so each cross section of the rod receive heat okay heat receive heat from the what adjacent cross section but this heat which is received from the what end hot end okay so out of many cross section of the rod let me just consider there is a cross section of the rod let me consider this is a cross section of the rod where the heat is received from the adjacent cross section and that heat which is received from the adjacent cross section is say q so what is q and i don't let q be the what amount of what amount of heat okay receives by by one one of the cross section one of the what one of the cross section of the rod cross section of the rod from from the which from the which cross section adjacent cross section from the what adjacent cross section So under this case, children, uh, like this is the end. Suppose if you are supplying heat to this end, then the heat that is uh, absorbed by this end, so that heat only flows from this hot end to the cold end. Now I have taken one end, is the cross section of the rod, where the heat is absorbed or received by the adjacent cross section. The adjacent cross section means must be what to the which end? The hotter end. The hotter end is this side. The colder end is this side. 
so heat received from this end that's why look at the arrow which i put and this arrow means the heat is received by this cross section from the which adjacent cross section and how much heat is uh, received by this uh, cross section that is q but total out of this total heat received by this cross section okay the part of heat and i don't and that part of heat is say q1 and let q1 be the what part of heat and let me just i don't part of heat okay absorbed part of heat what absorbed by by the cross section the heat absorbed by the what cross section so out of this total heat that is supplied by this adjacent cross section if that cross section this cross section absorb how much q1 part of heat of this total heat okay then the temperature of this cross section definitely increases okay the temperature what increases now another part of this total q amount of heat simply goes into atmosphere by convection and even it goes by what radiation means this are the end which is open so when this are the end which is open then the total amount of heat that is received by the cross section that is q and the amount of heat that is absorbed by this cross section is say, q1 so out of q so some part of heat it simply goes out from this end through the process like con convection and even by what process like con radiation so and that amount of heat is what say q2 so q2 is the amount of heat that is simply okay go out from this cross section from this end through what convex uh, convection and what radiation and this amount of heat that goes out from the side of this cross section now there must be some amount of heat that has to be transmit okay to the other cross section or to the next cross section and that amount of heat will be transmitted as say how much q3 so q3 so what is q3 out here q3 is the amount of heat that is transmitted to the next cross section by this cross section because there are number of cross section made of this uh, made of, of, of in this particular metal rod okay so if q1 is the amount of heat that is absorbed okay of this total amount of heat uh, by this cross section so q2 is the amount of heat that is simply goes out from this side of this cross section through convection and con uh, radiation so the remaining amount of heat has to be what transmitted to the next adjacent cross section and that is what q3 that's why q3 is the what is the amount of what amount of heat transmitted the amount of heat transmitted to the what next cross section next cross section and this heat which transmitted to the next cross section is also through conduction okay so under this process okay what happened the temperature of each cross section of the rod keep on increasing with respect to time and this particular state of the metal rod in which the temperature of each cross section of the rod increases with respect to time is called variable state what is it called variable state so there is a state that is can be obtained under this case that is called variable state so variable state is basically what the state of each cross section of the metal rod where the temperature keep on increasing so it is a state in which the temperature so let me just write the point only the temperature of each cross section temperature of each cross section of the rod goes on increasing goes on increasing goes on increasing with time and this state is called variable state so under this particular state under this particular state the amount of heat that is received by any cross section of the rod and that amount of heat say is received by this cross section of the rod say q is equals to q1 plus q2 plus q3 so this is the amount of heat that is received by this uh, cross section of the rod means that heat q is equals to q1 the heat absorbed by this cross section of the rod plus q2 the heat that goes out from the side of this rod cross section of the rod plus 
Q3 is the amount of heat that is transmitted by this cross section node to the next cross section. Okay, so this relation says that Q equals to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. But after some times, the state will be reached when the temperature of each cross section, the temperature of each cross section rod will not increase. It remains what? Constant. But it doesn't mean that the temperature of whole cross section rod becomes constant. Okay, the temperature of different cross section rod are different, but each cross section rod temperature will remain constant with respect to time. Okay, so under this state, the amount of heat, okay, absorbed, okay, there is no amount of heat that is absorbed by each cross section of the rod. Okay, each cross section of what? Rod. So, children, we can simply define one of the state uh, under this conduction of heat in metal rod, and that state is called steady state. Now, steady state, as I said already, is the state of the rod, okay, in which the temperature of each cross section of the rod become constant with respect to time, and this particular state is called steady state. Now, but again, I repeat that in this particular steady state means the temperature of the whole rod does not remain the same. The temperature of different cross section rod are different, but for every cross section rod, the temperature remains constant. So, under this particular state, okay, there is no amount of heat, okay, uh, that is simply uh, absorbed by the rod, okay. I mean to say, like, you know, Q equals to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3, okay. Now, this is the heat that is received by any cross-section rod. So, in this particular state, okay, Q1 is simply equals to 0. So, I have taken one of the cross-section of the rod, so this is the amount of heat absorbed by the rod, Okay, so under this state, no heat absorbed by the rod, that is say Q1 is equals to 0. Okay, now the important part in this particular state is that the heat that reaches to any cross section, the heat that is received to any cross section is transferred to the next cross section, except, except some amount of heat goes out from the side of the rod through convection and radiation. So, he accepts some amount of heat that goes out from the side of the rod, say Q2, okay, so whatever amount of heat that is absorbed by each cross-section of the rod, that amount of heat is simply transferred to the next cross-section of the what? Rod, okay, so under this case, okay, under this case what happened? The temperature of each cross-section rod become constant and this particular state is called steady what? State, but this steady state will not reach um, as soon as the heat is applied to one end of the rod. So there is a time it takes, okay, so that the steady uh, state will be usually maintained. Now, children, in order to understand this st steady state of this uh, metal rod, okay, let me explain even with the help of this diagram. So the same metal rod I have taken, okay, whose one end is heated at a constant temperature. So this is the hot end, which is at what temperature? Constant temperature. Means from this end, the heat is supplying by certain source and the same amount of heat is supplied at this end, so that this end becomes hot. So this amount of end transfer the heat to this cross section and that heat is say Q. But the amount of heat that is received by this end and that heat is say Q1 is simply zero. The, that means the heat amount of heat absorbed by this cross section that is Q1 is simply zero. Okay, so that whatever amount of heat okay, uh, that is received by this end Okay, has to be transmitted uh, to the other end except there is some amount of heat that goes out from this cross section, from this side of the cross section through convection and that heat is say Q2. So Q2 is the amount of heat that is pa uh, passed through this side of this cross section through convection, okay. So that the amount of heat that is transmitted to the other cross section is Q3. So if you look at this diagram, okay, if you maintain if you uh, measure the temperature, okay, uh, at this particular end with the help of thermometer, that's why if you look at this diagram, there are number of thermometer which has been inserted, okay, uh, placed at different end cross section of this metal rod, okay, and this is actually to check uh, when the heat is simply transferred from hot end to the other end, the heat keep on decreasing, okay, but at every cross section, the temperature, uh, the temperature of the rod uh, cross section remain same. Okay, say this is the thermometer which measure the temperature out of a maximum and consider this temperature at this end is say, uh, consider say 80 degrees Celsius. 
So if this cross section of the rod measure temperature say 80 degrees Celsius, then this cross section rod will measure the temperature say 75 degrees Celsius. Then this temperature or uh, thermometer or uh, this cross section rod measure the temperature say 60 degrees Celsius. Uh, I mean say 70 degrees Celsius. Just randomly I am giving you and this cross section rod measure temperature say 65 and say this is say 60 degrees Celsius. So this is just the assumption I have taken. Okay. But this temperature measured by this different thermometer inserting a different cross section of the rod simply say that the every cross section rod what amount of heat that is received okay and that heat is simply transferred to the next cross section except some amount of heat is simply what simply go out through the side of this rod okay through convection and due to this what happened the heat which is transferred from one end to other end simply have a fall in temperature but every cross section rod maintain the same temperature at a at a certain period of time and this particular state which is reached or is called what state steady state okay that's why i told you already that steady state doesn't mean that the temperature of the whole rod remains same in steady state the temperature are different or temperature of different part of the rod are different but as we go from this hot end the temperature keep on falling see that's why the temperature keep on falling this way okay so temperature remain falling or uh, keep on falling from hot end to the what cold end okay but the temperature of each part whatever it may be remain what constant and that can be explained by this figure so under this particular state and this is what state as i said steady state the rate of flow of heat remain constant and this rate of flow of heat for every cross section of the rod remain constant means dq by d theta by dt is zero so if q is the amount of heat that is transmitted then d theta by dt means the rate of transmission of heat and this is simply called as the rate of transmission of what heat and this rate of transmission of what heat for every cross section children this is for every cross section every cross section okay i'm writing every cross section okay of the rod and this remain constant means d d theta by dt is zero d theta by dt zero means theta remain constant theta remain what constant but this is true only when the steady state will what reach okay steady state will what reach so under this steady state we can even plot a graph and this graph is called temperature versus time graph if you plot a temperature versus time graph time set along x axis and temperature along which axis y axis okay i'm representing temperature by theta then your nature of graph will be a straight line graph parallel to time axis means this say that on the steady state okay the temperature remain constant with respect to time time that's why d theta by dt becomes zero this means the rate of change, uh, rate of transmission of heat becomes simply zero, which means theta remain constant with respect to time, and this is under what state? Steady state of or uh, the conduction of heat in metal rod. So this is the basic part of the conduction of heat in metal rod. Now in the next YouTube video, we even derive the expression of coefficient of thermal conductivity, and most important, we define a term called temperature gradient, and that will all in the next YouTube video.